Let's see. Aaron. Is it E R I N or A A R O N? A A R O N. Yes, sir. Let's go. All right, Aaron. My name's Ty. Is there anything that you really believe is true? You want to talk about that for a while? Anything that you know you can't be wrong about? Uh, Ideally in like a supernatural sense, like karma, reincarnation, God. I, I do believe there's a God. You know, okay. Probably like a... Do you mind if I ask which God we're talking about? Christianity. Yeah. Christianity? Christian... That's a big... That's a big umbrella. What, what Christianity are we talking about? Uh, baptism. Yeah. So Baptists? Yeah. Southern Baptists? Free will. Free will Baptists? Yeah. There's free will Baptists? That's what I was raised on. Yeah. What's free will baptism? Just It's basically just like any other kind of bad thing. <laughs> so I grew up military. Yeah. Um, I've been everywhere from California all the way to Georgia. Mm -hmm. And we've been bouncing back and forth between black churches, white churches, Baptists, Methodists, mm -hmm. you could name it. And every single church has its own belief. But mm -hmm. th it's very different from every other church. But they all believe that they have the same one that's general. So I guess what I mean like is... What is like some tenets of like the Free Will Baptist Church? Gays wrong, transsexuals wrong. You must follow God. Like obviously, you have to preach to Him. You have to believe in Him. No cursing. No. Okay, so it's like conservative Christian. Yeah, it's, it's very conservative. Conservative. Okay, Aaron, mm -hmm. how confident are you that this God is real? You're right here. Sometimes I question it, but then I think to myself, like, the beauty of this earth can't just, like, happen on its own. I don't believe that. But how confident are you, say, from, like, a scale from zero to 100, where zero is, like, I'm all doubt, 100%, I'm all confidence, zero doubt. 85, 85. Probably. 85? Yeah. 85. Mind if I ask you a question, what would make you more confident? Like, what would get you to, like, a 90%? Probably if I have like a one-on-one -on -one experience with God, like you hear the pe other people have. Have you had that yet? No. One-on-one -on -one experience would make you go higher? Yeah. Like I've never had that experience like, hey, I, he spoke to me, mm. he told me this. I've, I've never had that yet. 85 is still pretty high. Yeah. What got you to the 85%? Probably how I was raised, like seeing like all the good and like my Nana was the main one that made us go to church. Oh, it's just she, seeing what's your Nana's the, name? Her name's Carolyn. Carolyn? Yeah. Nice, nice. But seeing like all the good she does, and like she's like the, the newsletter maker, she like goes to food drives. Okay, just, like, she does a lot of good stuff? Yeah. Okay, would you say that's the main reason what got you to your 85%? Yeah. If, I'm just throwing this out, so for example, if you said, I really like chips, no wait, if you said chips are the best thing in the world, yeah. and I'm like, am I gently challenge that, have you tried pretzels? Like that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. I'm wondering like, if you're, and I'm not saying this case, but if, say your Nana wasn't as nice, would that affect your confidence in God at all? It probably would. Really? She's like someone I look up to. She's oh. the one who like raised me to believe that way. Okay, okay. Yeah. She's the one who raised me to be kind, not yell at people like these guys over here, to respect others' beliefs. Okay. Is it possible that if you were raised by someone else who was very, very nice but worshipped a different God, you would be believing in that God to an 85% confidence right now? I say could be possible, but I've noticed once since like I've moved out and I've been looking at things from a different perspective, I still take it and I still bring it back to what I believed when I was younger. Mm. So at the same time, I believe that if I wasn't raised like that, I was raised something different, I may believe how I believe now. You might believe it, but you may yeah. not. Yeah, I may not. Yeah. So maybe the way you raised isn't the reason that got you to this belief that you're yeah. right. Like, for example, you could have been raised in a belief that wasn't true. But had just as much confidence that it was, but because you're raised by someone else. Yeah. So like, like even me being a Christian, I still yeah. like read about Judaism. I hear what and you're about saying. Mo like Muslims, but if you could right be right. raised by someone else and believe something that's not true based on how you were raised, maybe the raising yeah, the is raising a reliable definitely. way to get to 85 percent confidence. You see yeah, what I mean? Like I do my own reading. Mm -hmm. I like do my personal own research. research. Yeah, personal research for sure. Like what? Read the Bible, obviously. Just to read up stories, mm -hmm. read about experiences people have with them, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Are there people that read the Bible and come to a wrong conclusion of what God's nature is? Yes. That, that, like the Bible, you can interpret in different ways. Yeah. Usually they interpret it in a negative way. Yeah. But, and there are people who are really confident that that's the God. Yeah. I'm wondering then if I could do personal research and be wrong. Is personal research a good way to be 85% confident about the God? 
it depends on your mindset, I feel. Like, okay. if you want him to be a kind God, you'll find the research. It's like just anything. Like, the like, media's twisted. Like, you'll look, you'll have that point of view for that, for, like, yeah, the point of view of what you're looking at. Yeah. Do you have the right mindset? I think I do. How do you know that? I don't know that. I, it's just my own belief. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a way that you can test it? I have no clue, to be honest. I think that's a fair answer, but... If we can't test it and you're not sure if, if it's right or not, what's justifying you at 85% confidence that it's true? It's my own faith, I guess. Is faith the foundation of this? Yeah. Okay, okay. I think we're getting to the real stuff, man. What do you mean by faith? Just my belief that there's someone out there watching over us. Is that how you define it? Yeah. That there's someone out, specifically your God, because yeah. I'm watching you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're outside. <laughs> I know you don't mean me. Okay, so faith is someone's out there watching us. Yeah. Someone watching over us, uh, caring yeah. for us, watching us, and that's what's getting you to the eighty-five percent confidence that God's mm -hmm. true, God is real. Yeah. I'm wondering, um, can people use faith to come to a God belief that's not a true God belief? Like, I'd say so. Yeah. Could, could I could I be a, a person from I don't know India? and believe through faith that Vishnu exists because I believe that someone's out there watching me and that would be Vishnu. Yeah. But you wouldn't agree I, that Vishnu is real, right? I like, no, but I still have respect for others' perspective. And they can believe whatever yeah. they want yeah, and they I believe can. they have that right I too. believe what I want, they believe what they want. They but whether or not it's true or not, yeah. would you say Vishnu is true because someone used faith to get to that conclusion? I'd say like it all stemmed from one place a long time ago. Like there was, there was one and like, just like languages, people like develop their own interests, their own cultures, mm -hmm. and happen like that. Yeah. They may have a different name for it, maybe mm -hmm. like a name for a different god. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what if they argue actually it's the Christians that got it wrong? We had the original, and ours is the they can name. argue all they want. That's their beliefs. I have my own. So how do I? How does someone who's in the middle determine who's actually right or not? They'll have to look at both sides, look at both points, and just have their own conclusion. And they would have to use faith to get there. Yeah. But the issue is, is um. It seems like I could have faith to believe in a complete... Or for example, how about this? Could someone have faith that there is no gods at all? They could, yeah. That's the... if, I could, if someone could have faith that there's no gods whatsoever, and someone could have faith that there is a god, how do you tell who's right? There's no way to tell who's right. But they can't both be right, right? No, there's no way they can But be they're right. both using faith. Yeah. What does that say about faith as a system to come to a true conclusion? It's more based on emotion. Mm. Is emotions a reliable way to get to a true conclusion? No, but we tend to rely on that. Is that a good way to reach a true conclusion, you said? Emotions? Oh my god. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Are emotions a good way to reach a true conclusion? Could I it, let it's, my... It's not, no. Are you justified at 85% confidence using emotions? I'm not, but I still feel that 85%. Not, it's not a problem. Yeah. You can definitely feel that way. Yeah. But I'm wondering whether or not you're justified at that. Probably not. No. What would justify you at that 85% confidence? Probably having that one-on-one -on -one experience or like some people die and they get resuscitated and they, they have that experience like they saw. Getting that one-to-one -one direct yeah. sight. Yeah. Can I throw something at you? What? Pretend I got a coin. All right. It's a quarter. It's not a trick. I patch it. Can't see in the sun. Oh, maybe I dropped it. No. Let me try flipping it again. Catch it. It's in the back of my hand, right? It could be heads or tails. And I don't know if it's heads or tails right now. Do you know if it's heads or tails right now? Nope. Okay. So, um, I can go to science and ask them, hey, flip a thousand coins, come back to me with a report. Let me know if this coin is heads or tails. And they come back and they say it's 50-50. I'm like, yeah. that's not good. That's, that's yeah. not good at all. So, I need more evidence, right? And I could say, well, I was raised to believe that coins would always be heads up, right? Yeah. But that's not a good way to determine if this coin is. But I have a really nice aunt. It's like, yeah, but it doesn't really yeah. affect this coin, right? I could use faith to believe that the head's coin, or that the coin is heads, but it may not necessarily affect whether it's true. I might be right, but it's not a good way to get there, not a reliable way. And I can use my emotions to get there, but again, it doesn't really affect it. I think the best way to figure that out is you know, looking at it, that one-on-one -on -one experience. But until then, I don't know isn't just an option, it might be the best answer. 
Yeah, like you don't know. Like, I don't know until I have know better until evidence. You, you don't know until you die. You don't know if you until you enter an afterlife mm. or you don't enter an afterlife. You, and until then, I might even I wouldn't even argue that I'm 85 percent justified. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see your point. Yeah, yeah. Aaron, I appreciate that talk. Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you enjoy the chat? I did. Cool. Thank you. Hey, you want to have a chat? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you.